I am so excited. Today we are doing some grocery shopping for my wedding. I'm doing a couple DIY food related things at my wedding. We're DIYing charcuterie boards for the cocktail hour, little s'mores baggies for the fire pit, and I have to get all of these sodas and mixers for the bar. I'm getting all of these things between Aldi, Walmart, and Costco, but today we're going to Aldi and Walmart. Of course, I have a list made on my iPad. You can't really see it that well because of the glare, but it is split up between Aldi, Walmart, and Costco instead of being split up by category because I wanted to get it all on one page and this is just the easiest way for me to separate things out. So here at Aldi, the majority of what we're getting is going to be the cold items. So we're trying to get all the cheese and deli meats here some of the sodas for the bar and drinks for the bar, and then the s'mores stuff. So hopefully they have everything and the quantity that I need because I didn't say this earlier, but I'm feeding 125 people. So that is the guest count for our wedding. So we're getting a lot. I think I did some research and it's like three to four ounces of meat and cheese per person. So we have a lot that we're getting. Take a guess in your head. How much do you think the total is going to be? I have no idea. Probably in the 200s, I'm going to guess. I don't know, let's go find out. I'm bringing a bunch of extra bags today because I'm getting a lot of extra stuff. The weather is similar to how it's supposed to be on Saturday for the wedding and it's beautiful right now. Also, I always get my hair in shots. When I'm leaning over the cart, my hair falls down and I get it in shots and so it's in the clip. We are starting with bigger items and then we'll do the smaller items after. Anybody else's drink of choice, a vodka or rum cranberry? This is my fiance's drink of choice. They have regular Coke, but I thought they would have Diet Coke too, so we'll have to get that at Walmart. I actually needed eight anyway, so I'm just gonna take this whole case. I also thought they would have ginger ale. much much busier than I thought it was gonna be so in an effort to not be in everybody's way I haven't really filmed myself just the food so let me give you a little update on what I've done so far of course you saw we got all these cokes and cranberry juice this is gonna be all the meat for the charcuterie board remember this is for 125 people that's a lot of people so this is all the meat and I'm pretty sure this is all the cheese too for the boards we got these cheese party trays they come with cheddar Swiss Kobe Jack and Pepper Jack. And so these are cut one way. And then I'm gonna cut these Pepper Jacks into cubes. So I got six of those. And these already cubed ones are mild cheddar and Kobe Jack. And last for cheese, I picked up these feta blocks, tomato and basil cheese. I am gonna leave these whole on the boards and then provide a knife for people to cut off bits and pieces that they want to add to their plate. I grabbed some oranges, mostly for decor on the boards. Two of these breadsticks just for some crunch and I think they'll make the table look pretty. I got some honey roasted nuts. It was between the honey roasted or a garlic and herb and I figured something sweet on the table might be good so these honey roasted were my choice as well as two different kinds of stuffed olives. These are blue cheese and these are white cheddar and I got some fig spread. They have whole grain mustard or sweet mustard. Okay, that is it here for the charcuterie. We are serving a small treat at the rehearsal dinner, but my mother-in-law has celiac disease, so I'm picking up these gluten-free cookies for her. These smell so good. So 
so I mentioned that our venue is gonna have a fire pit and we're gonna have s'mores. So these are the things that I got for the s'mores. I got two boxes of graham crackers, three of the six packs of the Hershey's chocolate bars, and three packages of marshmallows. And we're gonna put pre-assembled s'mores into little goodie bags and leave them by the fire. So that is it for my list, but my sweet soon-to-be husband has some family visiting and they requested a couple things. So we're gonna grab those real quick and then go check out. Uh, yeah, I was definitely delusional. <laughs> it was 308, so quite a bit more than my 200 guests. But I got so much of the stuff that I need here, so I was kind of expecting it. I knew this was gonna be expensive. This is for my wedding. Everything for your wedding is expensive. And thankfully, because I got all the stuff from Aldi, it's gonna be cheaper than it would be if I were to get all of it from like Walmart or Food Lion. So still a win, but $308, it hurts a little. So we're gonna go to Walmart now and try to get all the things that are on the Walmart list and the things that weren't on, that were on my list for here, but they didn't have. And that would be ginger ale, Diet Coke, and champagne. And I think that was it. So hopefully Walmart has everything that I'm hoping that they'll have. And I will see you over there. <laughs>